Okay, having uh, dealt with the categories and uh, the controls matrix, um, uh, back to some of the principles. Uh, and again, you know, these are general security principles in a sense, but uh, as noted, access control is, is sort of the original uh, well, the, the origin of information security, in, in a sense. So, uh, it's not surprising that some of the general principles are uh, specific to access control. And uh, we are uh, <laughs> advised to uh, pay attention to these and, and see what the, the special requirements are in regard to uh, to access control. So, uh, separation of duties. Now, uh, again, uh, we uh, will will come back to this uh, in uh, some of the formal uh, methods uh, because it it derives from the the Clark Wilson uh, model um, and. Uh, in uh, uh, some sense, um, uh, uh, security development, application development, and application security, because uh, separation of duties, which, which in uh, general terms and, and uh, often in, in access control terms, we consider part of... Um, uh, people, you know, that that the person who is performing the function should not be the uh, person who is doing the checking, but the um, original, the, the origin of the principle was in fact for functions rather than people. And it should in more broadly be the uh, the function, uh, uh, the the process that is performing the function, whatever the function may be, should not be uh, the process that is in fact uh, checking, auditing uh, the function, and and so we have a separation of duties in in control. Um, we have a, a separation of duties in, in personnel. We have a separation of duties in, in processes. Um, the, the principle is the same. Whatever is, is performing the function should not be what is checking on the function so that we don't just, uh, you know, have uh, the, the person who's, who's doing it. Uh, you know, it's an important principle in audit. Um, and uh, I, well, I, at this point, often ask the class who, uh, you know, has done any writing, and uh, uh, can you edit your own stuff? And uh, take the example of, of my first book, um, and uh, it went through several uh, stages of editing, and. Uh, I finally got to the the galley proofs um, <laughs> where the the typesetters introduced a whole new class of <laughs> errors uh, so it was uh, you know time to to check those out um, I got the first uh, set of galley proofs about a third of the book 140 pages sweat blood over them for eight hours figured that I'd found about 20 errors and uh, gave it to Gloria. Now, um, uh, two advantages that she had. One, she was the best copy editor I have ever encountered. Uh, and number two, she wasn't me. Looking at my own stuff, of course, I was, in a sense, automatically correcting because I knew what I meant. And, and so we automatically just assume that, yes, you know, if, if there is anything wrong, if there is anything unclear, if, you know, any, any problems at all, we, uh, we automatically mentally correct that. We uh, automatically know what, what 
the the correct thing should be and, and assume that it is correct and uh, the same goes for our uh, plans for our purposes for our performance in in all areas of, of life and uh, you know this is the reason for the separation of duties uh, just to finish the story uh, I figured that I had found uh, 20 errors in 140 pages uh, Gloria took at it look at it for a few hours and found four mistakes on the first page alone as well as uh, you know a whole bunch of additional ones so uh, yeah we cannot edit our own stuff we cannot audit our own stuff and and so we have to have the uh, the separation of duties that is an important uh, principle and um, make sure that uh, that is is established in in all of our processes in all of our systems uh, both management and technical so uh, make sure that that principle is is established and followed least privilege uh, again uh, particularly in access control of course making sure that we give people the necessary permissions to do the job that we are asking them to do but also uh, ensuring that they do not have more permission that they do not have more privilege more rights than is necessary for the job at hand and uh, you know that is something that uh, we all too often just, you know, grant blanket permissions um, and then people who, you know, get into trouble, uh, they, they do so very often because we have given them too, too much permission. Uh, we want to, you know, try and, and avoid those possibilities. Um, the uh, uh, again uh, another principle uh, compartmented security and and we've you know we, well we've talked about all of these but uh, uh, we talk very frequently about compartmented security when we have a situation a process uh, a system whatever it may be that ha is dealing with or contains or processes much more sensitive information uh, then we should have more and di different types of restrictions permissions uh, whatever to to make sure that we don't um, uh, betray confidences that you know that our confidential material is protected that uh, our integrity uh, of information is is protected you know this is this is special information or a special system it needs special protection additional protection so uh, make sure that we have uh, the the appropriate protections and compartment areas appropriately